Okay, so when these uh, guidelines get in the way, I can just click on control semicolon and they'll disappear. So they're there, they're just hidden. Um, the other thing that you need to do is you will need to put in your rows of type as a dotted line. I've selected cyan. Now let me see. So if I select that line, I've selected cyan. It's 100%, uh, 0 0.2 millimetres thick. And I've clicked on stroke and I've clicked on dashed line and I've typed in a number. And so that is a spacing between um, the lines. So there's a spacing for the dash and then the gap in between the lines. So that's how you create a broken line. And then you just copy and paste that uh, for all the lines. So I have got those lines indicated for the baseline, uh, the descender line and the ascender line up the top. So you need to put those in as well. Then I've done the same. I've done um, gray lines, just using the line segment tool. And to get arrows, I've gone into stroke and you can put arrowheads on. And there's a range of arrowheads that you can choose in stroke. So that's how you do that. Um, now, when you're wanting to do something different with text, as you can see, this is now a shape. So what I've done is I had a typeface and then I have gone up to type and down to create outlines, which is gray because I've already done that. So create outlines. And then what that will do is that will change your text into a shape. So that means you can um, move it around and, and create it like a shape, resize it as you like. But that would still be grouped. So then I would have to go object and down to ungroup if I had um, a word, ungroup, and then I can um, deselect them and move them around independently as I've done there. Okay, so that's the basic introduction to achieve this page, which has to have all of the um, anatomy of type on there from the pages um, required that are on your Google slide. And you're going to um, finish your Illustrator file and 